Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How are you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I want to talk about Ethereum Classic. This whole video is just going to be regarding the possible algorithm changes towards Ethereum Classic. Uh, but mainly, they are going to have a meeting, ETC Core Devs Call, on November 21st of 2019 at 1 p.m. If you guys want to join in on that, there's a Discord link here. I'll, I'll link this GitHub link on the description below so that you guys can go see this, uh, all this stuff here that I'm going to talk about. But throughout the video, yeah, I'm just going to talk about Ethereum Classic and uh, that kind of stuff and the algorithm change possibly. So let's get to it. So they're apparently going to talk about this and a bunch of uh, other upgrades uh, to to uh, ETC. So but the main things, you know, for us as miners, which really I only care about is the ECIP 1049 for SHA-3 and ECIP 1070 for ProgPow. And then they have another one here, status quo, which is just ETHash, which is just the current uh, algorithm for Ethereum Classic at the moment. They're going to propose or just discuss these three different options uh, as of right now. So what I want to do in this video is just kind of go through and figure out, you know, what is the best possible way for us miners, okay, for us GPU miners, okay, not ASIC miners and whatnot. So I want to talk about this. And I know a lot of people in the community are not very excited regarding for SHA-3, SHA-3, okay? But there are some developers in the ETC community uh, that are for SHA-3, okay? Which is FPGA and ASIC friendly. And then there's the other side of it, uh, another algorithm, ProgPow, which I believe a lot of miners, a lot of the mining community is also f for. Okay, I'm I'm definitely for ProgPow. I think in my books, uh, just straight away, uh, Ethereum should uh, uh, Ethereum Classic should move towards ProgPow. The reasonings for that right away is just to thwart the ASICs that are currently on the network right now. It it may not be that many ASICs. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys the InnoSilicon A10 ETH Master. This is the 500 mega hash ASIC miner from InnoSilicon, and apparently this one does about 750 watts total for 500 mega hash. Now, if I were to compare my let's see RX 480 8 gigabyte rig, uh, eight of them, I'm able to get 250 mega hash at about almost 900 to 1,000 watts. So the efficiency really, I would say, is about maybe two or three times for the A10 ETHmaster if you're comparing it to a regular AMD uh, 580 or 480 or whatnot. So um, now there's other arguments here, or not arguments, but other things they're going to discuss are the uh, DAG size limit. Okay, So if they're going to be lowering the DAG size for Ethereum Classic, if they are to move towards a new algorithm, now, as you guys know, uh, currently the the DAG the DAG size right now for ETC is, let's see, 3.37 gigabytes. Now, in Windows and Linux, we are right now able to mine Ethereum Classic with four gigabyte cards, uh, but right now, as of now, we're not able to mine with three gigabyte cards, uh, mainly the GTX 1063 gigabytes, as you guys can see here. Or like two gigabyte cards, GTX 1050, or there's a there's a bunch of AMD cards that are two gig as well, uh, and four gig. Uh, a lot of the 570s or 580 four gigabyte cards out there, definitely, you know, uh, assuming uh, assuming ETC doesn't change algo by October 30th, 2020, uh, the four gigabyte cards will be rendered useless by then. So that's something I think. Uh, just just let me think here should 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 we should we just you know lower the DAG size limit for ethereum classic it, it, that, that, that's a that's a hard thing to talk about I, I don't really have a really strong opinion on that because I, I don't I'm not really strong in the economic side of coins or logistics of just you know <laughs> hash rates difficulty all that kind of stuff so, and how many people are mining with these cards and that They're, there's a lot of different economics of uh, the the economics of uh, changing algorithms uh, and lowering the DAG because once you lower the DAG file, you're going to you're going to pretty much 
uh, open up the ability ability to mine Ethereum Classic with lower ver uh, video memory cards, okay, GPUs, uh, which could possibly increase decentralization, okay, so uh, there's an argument about that there. I'm not the person who can make that call. I, I, I don't really have a hard opinion on that. So, uh, yeah, so, but you guys can see right now the Ethereum Classic network hash rate as of making this video is about 10.37 terahashes. And you, you guys can see here back in September 6th, it looks like the peak of it was 16.76 terahash. Okay, but now it's cut down about 6 terahash. Uh, so assuming really there aren't really major ASICs on ETH hash right now algorithm and that that could be an argument that's that's that could be an argument that uh, the devs could be talking about on November 21st if if they if they want to increase or lower lower the DAG size and uh, of course change the algorithms here okay so that's really uh, what we we care about or ma mainly what I care about I'm not sure what you guys uh, would like to know about Ethereum Classic, but those of you guys watching me probably do care about the algorithm change. Uh, okay, so now I just wanted to kind of like switch it up now, talk about the uh, profitability. Okay, so, you know, Ethereum Classic has been on the top of the charts for uh, for profitability for, for AMD cards uh, for a long time now, for, for a very long time. Um, Monero used to be up there, not so much anymore. Uh, but uh, ETHash, okay, ETHash and like Ethereum Classic, Ethereum, looks like Ethergem is profitable, looks like Ether1 is profitable as well. And um, it looks like Callisto is also profitable for uh, a typical RX 570 rig at 180 mega hash. And yeah, basically it looks like, you know, AMD cards, they're still profitable on Ethereum Classic, okay. So now if they are to, you know, change to ProgBow. Or change to SHA-3 which obviously would pretty much render the efficiency for uh, AMD cards out the window um, yeah <laughs> that wouldn't be good uh, for us GPU miners uh, but for ProgPow okay ProgPow has been more uh, I would say it is it is more let's say not not efficient per se but um, it's supposed to thwart the ability for ASIC miners uh, to to our ASIC uh, manufacturers to pretty much uh, be be on par with other other uh, machines like uh, other uh, hardware like graphic cards, so it's supposed to it's supposed to level the playing field. Okay, ProgPow is supposed to level the pr playing field uh, in terms of the algorithm for all, all types of hardware that's out there right now. So, I think ProgPow, in my opinion, should be should be should be implemented, which I've mentioned before. So. Um, okay, guys, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. I would like to get your guys' opinion on this, and uh, I'll have this link down below so you guys can see uh, what I was talking about and read through this. And maybe uh, I'm definitely gonna, I wanna try and join in on this call. Uh, this is definitely during my work hours, so I might not be able to, uh, but maybe some of you guys in the community will be able to join and uh, maybe can fill me in later. So, uh, yeah, on that note, actually, there's one more thing. Uh, Ethereum Classic is going to be hard forking. Uh, it's called the hard fork is called Agharta. I don't know if I pronounced that right, uh, but it's it's nothing to do with mining. Um, it's definite. It's due to uh, multi Geth parity and Geth Classic. Uh, they are they are confirmed to participate and support Agharta. This is the uh, testnet and mainnet um, for January fifteenth of twenty twenty. Okay, so apparently this is supposed to. I think join with Ethereum Constantinople features, okay, so uh, which I've talked about in previous videos. So that's that's pretty much it. Uh, nothing to do with mining, but January 15th, I believe. And they're going to have a call on that, a Carta final, final finalization on December 5th. And I'll have this link down below as well. So if you guys want to join in on that call. Anyways, my friends, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about the... Ethereum Classic and algorithm change, if they should change or not, or, you know, go to SHA-3, which is the ASIC or FPGA friendly algorithm, or move to ProgPow, which levels the playing field for everybody, or just stay with Ethereum uh, ETHash right now, the current algorithm. And yeah. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Smash the like button, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys in the next video. 
Have a good one, and peace out.